They explained, however, that it isn't a simple one-to-one -one copy, as Hori has 64 points along the touch slider, where Devala has 32. So they need to simulate some of it. Ow! That's my leg. Anyway, I'm not so sure that the comment on Hori having 64 points is correct. After Trapper Multidimensional here commented on the Hori slider demonstration vid, I wanted to understand Hori's arcade mode more, so I played around a little. Actually, I think there are 32 points, so Devala should actually be able to imitate it. I can see why it's easy to come to the conclusion that there are 64 points though. At first I figured the LEDs are not a good counter to go by, but it turns out that they are. Thanks, Hori, for making this easier to understand. I'm using the PS4 controller here, as it has a normal and arcade mode. The Switch version only has arcade mode, so... So first, let's quickly go over the normal mode to see how it behaves using a gamepad tester website that reads out the percentages of the analog sticks. To show what all this means, Axis 0 is the left analog stick's left or right movement. Axis 1, left stick's up or down. Axis 2 is the right stick's left and right movement. And Axis 5 is the right stick's up and down. So if I push the 2 up, you can see like a minus 1, uh, 1, so that's percentage basically. I don't know why the resting space seems to be 0, 0, 3, 9, 2, but anyway. Now, normal mode. We can see the left half of the touch slider is the left sticks left and right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, That's nothing. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So you can see I'm halfway across the slider and I've had 16 inputs. And as soon as I go to the 17th point, the axis 2 has engaged, which is the right stick fully left. So same thing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I think, <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, okay, 16, 16, that's 32 points, right? And it's just going like that, basically. So, you know, these two work, and if I try to do that, we get some kind of competing, competing inputs, doesn't really work so well, but... How about the arcade mode? I've already explained that you get different signals depending where you touch. But let's try and count. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, 15. And then 16 is starting to ac activate the second axis. So that would be 17th? input. So that, that, that's the kind of strange point. But we've noticed that this area here, which is only a quarter of the slider, has given me 16 different readouts. So that'd be 16, 32, 64, right? No. We are getting extra readings because two points are being active at once. See the two lit up LED points? Yeah, that's not a halfway point. That's two points being registered at the same time. So wait. That opens up the possibility for so, so many possible combinations. You know how to count in binary? Well, if you do, you might already see where this is going. To quickly try to teach, a bit is a zero, a zero, or one. So an off or on state. So one bit thus gives you two possible states. Zero, one. Two bits will double that to four possible states. 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, or 1, 1. I have to use my thumb for this, otherwise I'll flip you the bird. Three bits will double that again to eight possibilities. 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, and 1, 1, 1. 
So if we work with 32 bits, we have 4,294,967,296 possible states. 4.29 billion possible signal inputs with the touch slider. <laughs> Not 64 points. So if we want to emulate this on another controller, how on earth are we going to do this? I'll die before I manually check all the combinations. Automate checking every possibility and copy pasting that data to Devala? Actually, even by manually exploring this, we can break this down to understand all 4.29 billion combinations with our own brains. Thus, anyone who wants to make a DIY controller or update Devala's firmware to support the arcade mode you should be able to do so. Unless, of course, their touch slider physically cannot support basically a 32-bit input. So for a proof of concept, I'll show you all combinations of four bits. All right, to demonstrate, let's do four bits. Let's just do the one, two, three, four, all combinations here, okay? Please pay attention to axis five. In fact, let's blow that up. Okay, to demonstrate, let's just use the first three points. Otherwise, this will be mind-numbingly boring access five let's just highlight that okay so zero i'm not touching anything is basically the resting point which for some reason is point zero zero three nine two you know 39 is a good number one we're getting a minus one which is the same as pushing the stick all the way forward two point five oh five eight eight which is the same as pulling the right stick halfway down three now we've got a minus 0.49804, which is halfway up again. Notice that it's alternating from up and down, up and down. So the one, two, three, four, point two five four nine zero, five. So minus 0 0.74902, six is a 0.75686, and then seven, which is a minus 0 0.24706. So from zero to seven, so that's your eight combinations with the first three buttons. And as you can see, you get all different readings. Okay, so the first eight points are controlling the right analog sticks up and down. As soon as we get to the ninth point, you'll notice that axis two has engaged, which is the left and right motion of the right analog stick. So essentially, if I push the ninth point and the first point, we've got a hard top left motion going on. So eight points means that we have 256 possible combinations. So if I push all of them down, so we've got a minus 0 0.01176, and here's a, a basically a negative resting point, uh, resting point, negative resting point, yeah. Which explains why when touching nothing, we get a 0 0.0392, as we need the negative version when all of one analog stick is engaged. The second, third, and fourth quarter repeat the same pattern. In knowing that, you've completed all 4.29 billion combinations. A little video injection here. So just like all the text I've been throwing up on the screen, I really should be counting from right to left. It would probably make a little bit more sense. So this is axis 0, axis 1, axis 2, and axis 5. Now in counting in a bit-like fashion, we'll see that as I increase value, axis zero will also increase ever so slightly. It's essentially emulating the left stick being slowly pushed to the right. So let's have a play. 0 0.00392 is the resting point. Push that, now we've got 0 0.01176. Now second bit, it's increased a little to 0 0.01961. Add the two together, 0 0.02745. Now, if you do a little math, so 0 0.00392, if you subtract that and then you add the 0 0.01176 to 0 0.01961, you will get 0 0.02745. All right, let's just do a little bit of counting and you'll see the axis zero will just increase slowly. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and so on. 
So you can see it's just increasing. So it makes sense that when I was going from the left hand side, because I'm kind of using a strong uh, minus one, yeah, that I'm going to get uh, alternating one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I go that way, it's going to alternate from a negative because <laughs> that's the strong minus one. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, any of these combinations are the bits being added together. Here's a table from the readouts I got from the gamepad tester for all 256 combinations of one quarter. These grayed out numbers are basically me double checking that I have covered all possible combinations by using some binary math. Once you get halfway into reading the signals of a single quarter, you'll see that the readouts will start to repeat backwards and negated. repeat the pattern for each quarter and you've completed all combinations. I did all 256 combinations completely as a way to double check and I double checked by adding the mirrored values together to make sure that they equal zero. And here is the chart in the correct order. <laughs> so to demonstrate I've got here the math can complete the 256 combinations so this is essentially all the data you need. So here, when combining, add the points together, then subtract 0 0.00392 multiplied by the number of points held minus 1, for example here. I'll just do a live demonstration as well. So let's say we want to do 11001100. One, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero. So that's going to be four points held. So what we'll do is we'll add 11001100. One, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero. So that's the points that we're holding down added. Then we'll minus that, we'll subtract that by the 0 0.00392 multiplied by 3, because that's the number of points held minus 1, and we get a value of minus 0 0.40392. So now let's look up the 11001100 in the table here, which is near the bottom. Here it is, 1100, no it's not. 11001100, one, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, so minus 0 0.40392. So that's the value that I tested. 40392. 40392 is the same. Okay, let's just confirm that the behavior is the same on the switch version of the controller. Now, as we said before, this first quadrant is the right analog sticks up or down. So I'll just record so you can see clearly. And click this down. Okay, so the first point should be a hard up. That it is. Oh, great. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the next point, ninth, should be a hard left. That it is, great. So hard left and uh, hard up. Yep, it's combining. Let's just do the first three bits one more time. So that's a zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. It alternated just like the PS4. So that's not too surprising because otherwise they'd have to like reprogram the entire game. So interestingly enough, if I Last point, I don't have much time left on this recorder. It says like uh, 11 minutes, so that's cool. One, two, three, four. So that's only a little bit up. If I do the other four, it'll be a little bit down. There we go. So if I alternate, so like on, off, on, off, on, off, on. So that's almost all the way up. Now if I alternate this, now it's almost all the way down. Pretty cool, huh? Combine all of them together. It's almost in the middle. I think it's a 0 0.006 something percent difference between this and this. Um, yeah, I can detect it. But yeah, so that's that stick. And this side here, of course, if I just go back and confirm, it is the left stick. Uh, so I think that's the first point here. And hard, yep. Yeah. 
So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Thirty-two for sure. That on. And play. 